I should like to be a star. I should like, you know, like to travel the world with my words, have monuments all over, people talking about me and reciting my words. <laughs> I should like to visit schools and churches and mosques and inspire the millions to the path of humanity. Oh boy, I would love to take pictures with Obama, give Will Smith a firm handshake, buy Oprah some flowers on my way from Amazing Ellen's show. A tap at the back, I turn on it, there's a Washington and Tyler Perry, happy to see me. Hmm. I would love to get a peck from Beyonce and work a collabo with Jay-Z. Perhaps only then will the world know that our dreams are truly valid if we can believe. Only then will Africa know that our destination is possible if we can believe. I would love to take selfies with Robert Mugabe, Jacob Zuma, Catherine Sambapanza, Theodore Obiangwema Mbazogo, Ali Bongo, Ellen Johnson Salif, Peter Mutarika, Ibrahim Bubakar Keda, Muhammad Buhari, Paul Kagami, Maki Sol. The list is endless. But this is not why I'm here today. I do not seek to make a name for myself. I do not seek to have my name over the tabloids or my words recited in nations. All I seek is for these words to find their way to your heart. All I seek is change. Change for Africa. Change from the darkness which looms over our continent. Change from the madness of soullessness, greed and corruption in Africa. Until good men Until are good driven men to action by love for humanity. By love for humanity. Evil will forever try. Evil will forever try. I speak for the masses. I speak for the countless mourning souls of Africa. I speak for the loud, deafening, and yet unheard cries of the colored race. I speak for the mother who lost her son in a pointless war. I speak for the children who are afraid of the night. No roofs over their head to whisper sleep to their tired eyes. I speak for the pregnant woman in Africa who has no access to health care. I speak for the woman who has to live life robbed of the pleasures of sex during marriage. I speak for the quiet voices mourning in pain, hiding behind marks of fake moons and tight jean skirts. Life with the parts. I speak for victims of mutilation. I speak for the farmer who has no idea of what global warming means. I speak for the millions of children who have no access to education, clothes, portable drinking water or a place of convenience. I speak for the taxpayer who gives more than he ever gets from his land. I speak for the doctor, the teacher, the lawyer, the painter, the plumber, the carpenter, the journalist. I speak for the politician who has a sincere desire for positive change. I speak for every one of us who go about not knowing where the next bomb will be detonated. I speak for Africa. I speak for belief. I speak for I, 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 I can. I speak for I can. I can. I can.